Hi, my name is Stuart, and in this video, I'm going to show you the top causes of neck pain and how you can fix them. A lot of people suffer from neck pain on a daily basis, but don't know what's causing it or how to fix it. Well, not anymore. I'm going to break it all down for you so that you can start feeling better today. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of what's most likely causing your pain, having a good understanding of pain can be therapeutic in itself. So let's clarify what we know about why things hurt. Pain is normal, personal, and always real. Pain is a normal and useful, although unpleasant response to what your brain judges to be a threatening situation. Like an alarm warning you of potential danger, this is often useful, but sometimes, just like alarms go off when there is no danger, you can experience pain even when there is no damage. Net pain is not proportional to tissue damage. People always find this surprising, but it's really important to understand. Pain is not always proportional to damage. Instead, it is a measure of perceived threat, like the alarm system we used before. Phantom limb pain is a great example of this, where there's a lot of pain, but no tissue damage. In fact, there's no limb at all. The other extreme example is of soldiers' experiences on the front line, where they have serious tissue damage, but don't experience any pain at all at the time. This is because context matters a lot when it comes to pain. This was first observed during World War II, when Henry Beecher and his colleagues at Harvard found that soldiers suffering from severe battle wounds often experienced little or no pain. The next important thing to understand is that we are bioplastic. Bio means biological, plastic means changeable. Your body is not like a car or a machine that needs to be fixed. A much more useful analogy is your body is like an orchestra where each movement is a different instrument. If you're experiencing pain or discomfort, then we need to retune the instrument to get it playing effectively within the orchestra again. Next, it's important to understand the difference between neck pain and discomfort. When recovering from an injury, it's absolutely essential that we stress the body to improve your function and improve your symptoms. Now this will feel uncomfortable, but it will be tolerable. A good example of this is an old lady who's just had her hip replaced. Now even though she may want to rest in bed, the physio and the NHS will get them on their feet as soon as possible. This isn't because the physio loves to cause pain and discomfort, it's because everybody, including the patient, wants to get them back home as soon as possible. The intuitive thing to do is to rest the painful area because it feels sensitive and uncomfortable when in fact that will just delay recovery. Instead, you need to gradually stress the tissue to help it adapt and get stronger. We explain how you can utilize this in our other video. But next, we're gonna take a look at the most common types of neck pain. 